Hey there, Read Along Kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig, George's Balloon. Peppa and George are driving home with Granny and Grandpa Pig when they see Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Let's stop for ice cream, says Granny Pig. Why not? says Grandpa Pig. I think we deserve it. Peppa, Granny, and Grandpa Pig choose their ice cream. George is next. Dinosaur, roar, says George. I think George wants a dinosaur balloon, says Miss Rabbit. All right, how much is it? Grandpa Pig says. Ten dollars, please, says Miss Rabbit. Grandpa Pink thinks the balloon is a bit expensive, but he buys it for George. Hold on tight to it, Miss Rabbit says. But George lets go and the balloon starts to float away. Grandpa Pig quickly grabs the string. This is very valuable, George. I'll hold it on the way home, says Grandpa Pig. Outside Granny and Grandpa Pig's house, George plays with his balloon. George, says Peppa, this is an up balloon, and if you let it go again, it will go up to the moon. Moon, cries George, and he lets the balloon go. The balloon goes up and up, but Grandpa Pig catches it just in time. Peppa and George have gone indoors to keep the balloon safe. Hello, Polly, says Peppa. George has got a new balloon. Squawk, cries Polly. Balloon! Both Polly and George love the balloon. Oh, no, cries George, letting go of the balloon. The balloon floats all the way out the door, up the stairs, and into the attic. Don't worry, it's safe in here, says Peppa. The only way out of the attic is the window, says Granny Pig, and the window is always shut. But the window is not shut. The balloon escapes outside. Your balloon is going to the moon, George, says Peppa. Wah, cries George. Just then, Daddy Pig arrives to take them home. Oh dear, says Daddy Pig. There must be some way we can get the balloon back, cries Granny Pig. Squawk, balloon, says Polly the parrot. Polly flies high up into the sky and catches the balloon string on her beak. Polly to the rescue, cries Grandpa Pig. Polly Parrot has saved the day. Hooray, George cheers. Who's a clever Polly? says Granny Pig. Who's a clever Polly? repeats Polly Parrot. George, don't let go of your balloon again, says Peppa. Daddy Pig has an idea. I'll tie the balloon to your wrist, George, he says. That will stop it from floating away. George is very happy. He loves his balloon. Everyone is happy his balloon was rescued. <sniffs> Squawk! Balloon! Hey, very long kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig, George Catches a Cold. Mummy Pig says Peppa and George can play in the rain, but they must wear rain clothes to keep dry. But George hates wearing his rain hat, so he throws it into the muddy puddle. Peppa knows that is not a good idea. Hee <laughs> Come inside, children, calls Daddy Pig. It's raining too hard now. Where's your hat, George? asks Mummy Pig. Achoo! replies George. Oh dear, George has caught a cold. Achoo! George cannot stop sneezing. 
Poor little George, says Mummy Pig. You don't look very well. Don't worry, I'll call Dr. Brown Bear, says Daddy Pig. Will George have to go to the hospital? asks Peppa. No, George has to go to bed, replies Daddy. So George is not truly sick then, says Peppa, disappointed. George, you have to stay in bed until you are better, says Daddy Pig. Why? asks George. Because you have to keep warm, says Daddy. Dr. Brown Bear is here to see George. Open wide and say, Ah, he says. George is a little afraid of Dr. Brown Bear. He hides under his sheets with Mr. Dinosaur. Dr. Brown Bear asks Peppa to show George that he does not have to be scared. Ah, says Peppa. George laughs and comes out from under his sheets. He opens his mouth so Dr. Brown Bear can look. Ah, uh, says George. George has caught a cold. Dr. Brown Bear tells Mummy Pig he can have some warm milk at bedtime to help him sleep. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear, says Mummy Pig. You're welcome. Goodbye says Dr. Brown Bear, before driving off in his special white car. The next morning, George wakes up early. The warm milk made him sleep very well. Roar! cries George, waking up Peppa. He is feeling much better. It's a lovely sunny day, but George is wearing his rain hat. He doesn't want to catch another cold. Oh, George, you don't need to wear your hat when it's warm and sunny. Mummy Pig tells him. He, <laughs> everyone laughs. George never goes in the rain without his hat again. Hey there, Elon kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called George's New Dinosaur. George's favorite toy is Mr. Dinosaur. George likes bouncing Mr. Dinosaur in the garden, playing with him at bath time, and cuddling him when he goes to sleep. At bedtime, Peppa says, George, I think Mr. Dinosaur is broken. George is very upset. Mummy and Daddy Pig come in to see why George is crying. Poor George, says Daddy Pig. Maybe it's time you got a new dinosaur. The next day, Peppa, George, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig visit Mr. Fox's shop. I'm sure we'll find a lovely dinosaur here, George, says Mummy Pig. Look, George, says Daddy Pig, pointing to the shop window. There's a big one. Oh, dinosaur, says George. Good morning, says Mr. Fox. Can I help you? We'd like to buy the dinosaur in the window, please, says Daddy Pig. Good choice, says Mr. Fox. This is Dino Roar. He walks. He talks and he sings. Dino roar, says George. We'll take it, says Daddy Pig. George is playing with Dino roar in the garden. Dino roar sings. Dino roar, Dino roar, listen to Dino roar, roar. Careful, George, says Daddy Pig. Don't play too roughly because Dino Roar will break. George wants to play with Dino Roar in the bath. Dino Roar, says George. Mummy Pig says, George, if you get Dino Roar wet, he'll stop working. Peppa and George are asleep in bed. But suddenly, Dino Roar comes to life. Listen to Dino Roar, roar. George, says Peppa, Dino Roar has woken me up. 
Maybe Dino Roar should sleep somewhere else, says Daddy Pig, taking Dino Roar away. George is feeling sad. He cannot play with Dino Roar in the garden, or the bath, or even in bed. Don't worry, George, says Mummy Pig brightly. Dino Roar can still roar. Dino Roar, listen to. Dino Roar, roar. Dino Roar stopped walking and talking completely. I think the batteries must have run out, says Mummy Pig. Already? How many are there? grumbles Daddy Pig as batteries pour out of Dino Roar. Hundreds and thousands, cries Peppa. Suddenly, Peppa spots something green under a bush. What's this? says Peppa. Is it a trumpet? You found Mr. Dinosaur's tail, says Mummy Pig. Now Daddy Pig can fix him. He might be a bit difficult to fix, said Daddy Pig, doubtfully. But the tail slips perfectly into place. Ho, 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 chuckles Daddy Pig. Hello, Mr. Dinosaur, says Peppa. Dinosaur, says George. George is so happy to have his favorite toy back. Good. The end. Thanks for listening, Read Along Kids. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great read-along fun. Until next time, bye-bye.